AI, or artificial intelligence, is growing at a pace that could be hard to stop. Talks about the tech is already making its way to campuses in our area, like UW-Green Bay. The new technology has some serious pros and cons. Local 5's Katie Amron explains. Not long ago, I was a college student studying journalism when I was assigned an essay talking about how the news industry has evolved from newspapers to what it is today. Writing that took a lot of time and research, but now, within seconds, I could have that written with the help of ChatGPT. Let me show you how that works. After logging into the software through Bing, type in your prompt. Give it a few seconds, and my essay is being typed for me. But don't worry, I won't be using this or any other AI in this report. In fact, our company has banned it. ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence software that pulls information from every corner of the internet to give users the most accurate information possible. It can also generate original works of writing, from essays to movie scripts. ChatGPT is just one form of AI. But services like Google, Microsoft, and Snapchat have their versions too. As you can imagine, with any new technology, there are pros and cons that must be addressed. UWGB Provost Kate Burns explains how the university plans to tackle ChatGPT. We've been having uh, monthly workshops so that faculty can better understand what does it mean, what does that look like within their classroom. Um, we have policies already in terms of academic honesty within the classroom and you know when we see plagiarism, how we handle that, but we're really looking to see how can we use it as a tool. Using it as a tool is Christopher Przicki, an assistant professor of English and Humanities at the university. As a part of his writing courses, Przicki shows his students how ChatGPT can be used as a template to be Begin their essays. It does provide a good foundation for writing structure. If we're trying to have students write, for example, a cover letter that shows off their personality, um, again, this is a piece of writing that completely erases that. So it does give them a sense of what sort of uh, how they can personalize their writing. While AI may provide benefits in the classroom, it could also contribute to the spread of misinformation on a global scale. This can easily become a threat to our democracy. I spoke with Ting Long Dai, an operations management professor at John Hopkins University, to learn just how dangerous the software can be in the wrong hands. We have a lot of concerns about the Russian misinformation, but the reality is that any country can unleash massive amount of information with chat GPT. They don't have, don't have to be very good at English. All they need is to ask last question and chat GPT really overcomes that uh, language barrier and make it insanely cheap to produce misinformation. Knowing the technology is far from perfect and at times even dangerous. Experts say that's where our old reliable human brains come into play. You actually have to turn to human uh, to solve the reliability issues, the trust issues, the bias issue, uh, all sorts of you know, harmful information, misinformation. But I don't think it's worth our time and energy to try to, to stop it. I think it's a great opportunity. I think we just need to get over, and I'm uh, simplifying this a little bit, but I think we do need to work through some of the, the big questions that we have. AI might not be something you can avoid, but just remember to verify everything you see and read. Katie Amrine, Local 5 News. Thanks, Katie. And Chat GPT, which Katie mentioned in a report, does put a mark on everything it produces. That way you can determine it's something that was created through AI.